today it looks like. You're in for a real treat here. Uh, let's uh, put this down. And uh, here's the birth certificate. Now, one of the things I like to do, you see this number over here, the number 10641. And I'm going to try to increase it. Oh, that's okay. Fine. Thanks. Thank you. If you see this number 10641, I try to, uh, to make it larger and still keep with it. It's tough because the screen doesn't, there you go. The 10641. Watch the one and the, the last one as we get it larger. See how that one is starting to look different? Everybody see that? All the other numbers are solid, and this last one is kind of uh, not so solid. It's got a whole different tone to it, and it's pixelated. As we get it even larger, you can see the difference even more dramatically. Now, of course, that's not a cut and paste job, right? <laughs> and that problem is all through the document. The document goes all through. I want to show you another, my favorite part of this document. You see down here in the bottom, this is the registrar stamp down here, which is just right. Somebody, somebody knows what's in there. And as we magnify it a little bit and try to get you to see it, you see the D record, the T X E, the T H E. Well, it's got a misspelling in it. The registrar stamp has a misspelling in it. T X E instead of T H E. That's a rubber stamp. That is an official stamp that's used over and over and over again. If any of you have had a rubber stamp and you use all these, does, would you use it if it had a misspelling in it? Say, throw that thing away. I want another one. And then if you look really closely at the A of Alvin's name, what do you see in the A? Smiley face. See it? Well, this is Alvin Anaka. This guy is a PhD. He doesn't talk to anybody. The guy has no sense of humor. He doesn't put smiley faces in the A of his rubber stamp. Well, look at that. You know, next time I have it, more you, look at that. I mean, you know, of course, I love to issue all, all my public statement you know, documents have little smiley faces in them too. You know, where's Waldo? <laughs> these from the beginning, for the first time I saw them, I said these are the signatures of the forger. Because forgers put little signatures in their documents. You know, forgers love to have their Van Gogh hanging in the Louvre. And they come in on a Saturday and with a friend and say, that's not Van Gogh, here's my little signature. Uh -huh. It's my Van Gogh, I'm the forger. Well, this, was, this is often what they do, and in fact, one of the things that has led us to identify the suspect has been these kinds of marks in the document, which trace back to some uh, suspects that we found in other documents they did, which are telltale signs. Now, if we take the birth certificate, this is another uh, form of the birth certificate. This is where you see the layers. This I'm looking at now in Adobe Illustrator. And, um, it has all these layers to it, which is unusual. Now, yes, you can get layers in a document, but not with the logical grouping these layers have. For instance, we can make the green background just go away. It was the last thing put in that document, the security paper. This was supposed to be a scan of a paper document. Scan of a paper document doesn't behave this way. It's got one layer to it doesn't start moving apart in its pieces unless it's manipulated. And then it's got some really, you know, completely ridiculous parts. This is the date stamp. Again, the official stamp that says this document is a real document. Well, you can just move it around, flip it up, put it anywhere you want to put it. Here's a, here is Onaka's signature stamp. And again, you can do basically the same thing with it, 
We can move it around. We can put it anywhere we want to put it. We can rotate it. Sometimes fun to rotate is, or if I can find a rotating tool here. Oh, yes, I, I like to rotate in August. <laughs> and then, of course, we can just take, you know, the entire different layers of this thing and move them off the document altogether. And you see the white halo effect? Well, white halo is not natural to scanning. That's not usually what scanning does. By the time you get finished with this document, you can have it resembling, you have no resemblance whatsoever to the original document. This little thing down here with this, this one turns out to have little white dots in it that were an artifact of cleaning up the document. They have a box with nothing in it. There's two boxes on this document with nothing in it. But there are things in it. What's in it really is the, um, are these little dots that were cleared up later. And as you take away and eliminate everything in this document, I want you to notice that up here in the number, the only thing that remains is the one. <laughs> you see that? There's your famous one. Now again, these are all the indications. What Sheriff Arpaio has done, we've listened to maybe 20 of the best experts in the world on these documents, and the experts have all agreed that this document is a forgery. There's no way this document, in fact, is going to have been authentic. Now, as we proceeded to examine this, the next document that came into question was the Selective Service Card. You all remember draft cards when you had to go to the post office and to register your and the draft, they took a stamp and they stamped it with the date. Okay, here's Obama's. If you take a look, his date stamp is 